Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be unboxing the July BoxyCharm. Um, if you don't know, BoxyCharm is a monthly subscription. It's $21 a month. The value is always over like 100 bucks at least. Um, so if you are interested in seeing what I got in the July box, then just keep on watching. Alright guys, so this is what the box looks like. Same as always. Um, it comes nice and padded as you can see. So everything in there is nice and protected. Now I have went ahead and just opened this so that I would know, um, you know what parts I would have to fill in as far as like the makeup goes. And one thing in here is actually a skincare item. So that is why my face is completely bare right now. The only thing that I have done is I washed and moisturized my face. Other than that though, this is just what God gave me. So the first thing that I want to talk about is this right here from Dr. Brandt. It is the Needles No More, No More Baggage um, Eye Depuffing Gel, which I could definitely use. Um, yeah, I do have some darkness. I don't get nearly as much sleep or water that I need, so I'm hoping that this will help. Now, as always, there is um, a nice little card that comes in the box that tells you, you know, some details about all the products inside and then how much they retail for, as well as the theme for the box. So this theme is Road Trippin'. Um, and the Dr. Brandt No More Baggage retails for $42. Now, we have got some Dr. Brandt stuff in the box before. Um, I didn't have the box at the time, but they did get, like, a luminizing primer from Dr. Brandt. And then, um, something that I did receive once I resubscribed was a, it's a mask, um, and it's like the pore vacuum mask or something like that. And I did not like the smell of that at all. Um, so I haven't used it very often. I've only used it like two or three times because I just, I cannot get over the smell. Um, so hopefully this does not have a weird scent. Alright, so I'm just going to take a little bit of this. Well, what the heck? I can't get it out. There it goes. Oh, it's orange. You see that? It's orange, so I don't know if it's like color correcting or what. Try this out. Alright, and I'm just going to put it you know, where I have some darkness, where those bags are. And it does not have, you know, a bad scent at all. It just smells like a skincare product. It's getting kind of tacky. Um, so maybe that'll make our makeup stick a little better in that area. Okay. It's not too bad, though. Like, it's not uncomfortable, tacky, or anything. Um, and then maybe that'll just dry down completely, yeah, where it's not sticky at all. Maybe it's just in the drying process, so... We'll see, yeah, this, this eye isn't sticky at all anymore. Um, and I don't see a difference. Maybe this is something that you have to use repeatedly. I'm sure, you know, it's not like something that's instantaneous. But just off the bat, I mean, I don't see any difference. Do you guys? Let me know. Let me know in the comments. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to go you know, fill in the blanks. I'm going to put on some more makeup, and then I will come back for our next product to test. Okay, I'm back. I put on some foundation. Um, I set that down with some powder. Put on some bronzer. The next thing in the box is actually a blush, and the blush is from Note Cosmetics. This you can purchase from Ulta, um, and this is the Luminous Silk Compact Blusher. This retails for $11.99, and we have the shade Desert Rose. I'm pretty sure that everyone got that color in the box. Now, for it to be called Desert Rose, this looks like an apricot to me. Um, I don't know about y'all, but that looks more of an orange type of a color. 
um, than rosy. But let's try this out. This is actually like one of my favorite colors. I love like peach tone blushes um, or just like nude shades of blush. I love those. I prefer those over like a pinky color any day. Now, I don't know how pigmented this is, um, so I'm just going to dip in there a few times and I'm going to like pounce it off on my hand a little bit just because I don't want to go in there and just get overwhelmed with color. So I'm going to apply this you know, right over where I applied that blush, I mean that bronzer, and I'm going to go from the um, outer edge down into the cheek so that you get a nice blended effect and it's not just like color, you know what I mean? Nobody wants to look like a clown. And she's pigmented, guys. I barely dipped into this. Okay, and I also apply um, just whatever's left on my brush. I always apply that like to the temples up here. I just really think that it um, brings the look together, makes it cohesive. Yeah, she pigmented. Ooh. But it looks nice. It blended really, really well. Alright. Sweet. Well, as far as the luminous factor goes, I'm going to swatch it and see if I can see it more because on my cheek it doesn't really look luminous to me. Um... I I don't see the luminosity guys. But it's it's a pretty pretty blush. I definitely will be using this more often because I really like that color. Um, I think it goes good with my skin tone. It goes well with a lot of the eye looks that I tend to wear. I type I like more um, neutral type of looks. Um so I definitely will get some use out of that. Alright, the next thing that we got in the box was from Chella, and this is the Tantalizing Taupe Eyebrow Cream. So, this is what it looks like right here, and it is a double-ended um, applicator. So, on one side you have your brush, which is nice, um, that it's like a two-in-one, you have everything you need in one nice little package, and then you've got the cream product that screws off on the other end. So, everything you need to do your brows is like right here in one place. So, that is pretty convenient, but it doesn't matter if it doesn't work, right? So, I am going to um, just brush out my eyebrows a little bit. And I didn't mention that retails for $26. We have got some cello things in the box before. Um, I can't remember if it was BoxyCharm or Ipsy, but I know that I have some cello cosmetics somewhere in my collection. I don't remember exactly what it was, but I know I've got that brand before. Okay, so, and I actually got this from BoxyCharm too. This is an Aesthetica uh, eyebrow spoolie. We got like a pack of three Aesthetica brushes, and then we also got an Aesthetica face brush all in one box. So, I really love BoxyCharm as well as Ipsy for the brushes that they include because a lot of my brushes I've got from there and I tend to enjoy most of them. Okay, so you are getting, this thing is filled up to about here, so you're getting a decent amount of product in here. And it looks like a shade that would be kind of um, suitable for a lot of people, like a taupe, you know, that you can make it a little less uh, pigmented or you can really pack it on and get it darker. So I do think that they were smart including that shade in the box. Okay, so I am going to have to look down at this mirror in front of me in order to do this. or I'm just going to have this everywhere. Um, but as you can tell, I have got this eyebrow I seriously, seriously overplucked. Um, and I am somebody that has OCD, so it is very, very hard for me to allow that to grow out. So I do have a lot to fill in over here. On this brow, really, it's just cleaning up um, 
any kind of like sparse areas but this brow overall is pretty good this is the one that um, I have trouble with so I am just gonna go in and hope for the best here all right so let me get a little bit more on the brush And you know what? I think I'm actually going to use the mirror that came in the little blush compact. That way I don't have to be bending down so you guys can really see what I'm doing. And I'll scoot up a little bit closer. Alright, so I went in with this product now. And I'm going to try to make it where you guys can see. It's definitely, it's more waxy than it is dry, um, which can be good or bad, like, I do like waxy formulas just because it helps hold your brows in place, but for somebody that has a lot to fill in over here, it can look um, unnatural. A lot of the times, drier products tend to look better whenever you have a lot to fill in. So, that will definitely be the test. Like I said, on this brow, I really don't have too terribly much to do. Other than just kind of make it darker and a little bit more full looking. The brush that comes with this isn't bad. Um, it's not, you know, super stiff or anything like that. Okay, so I think that's about as good as I'm going to get on that brow. It is a good color for me, for sure. Um, it, I mean, the color is like spot on for me. The applicator, I will say, like, whenever you're trying to, like, go in here, you don't have a lot of room, you know, so it's, like, hitting the edges, which is kind of annoying, and I don't know how that would be, like, whenever you got deep into that product, how well that would work out, but let's see about this brow, because she's the one that needs help. Okay, so that is actually going on a lot, a lot better than I thought it would. Um, I really didn't expect for it to work as well as it is on this brow. Um, I really thought it would kind of just be like a smudgy mess, but it's surprising me so far. You guys, doing this where you can see it is actually a lot harder than it looks, just FYI, so bear with me. Um, I will try to get better at that for you guys, just finding different ways to do things, um, as well as I'm going to try to get a better setup. I just have to give it a little bit of time. Okay, so they look pretty even. My brows are never twins, okay? They are always sisters. So just don't expect for my brows to be on fleek because they ain't. I do the best I can, but um, brows are not my forte. I ain't leaving home without them done, though. Don't get me wrong. Okay. Alright, guys. Um, I think that it did pretty freaking well. Like, 
It definitely does not look bad. For sure. So, that gets a win from me. Surprisingly, I really did not expect to like it that much. Um, so that's pretty cool. I definitely will use that more. It's definitely, you know, not up there with my Anastasia Brow Wiz. That is like my favorite one that I have tried so far as far as brow products go. Um, but I definitely will use this. Um, I don't have uh, Anastasia pencil right now. So right now I'm kind of just testing out a bunch of different ones that I have. So I definitely will use this and um, enjoy it. Let's see if I comb it out because that's something I always do is I do my brows and then I will go back in and comb them out and just, you know, kind of separate any hairs that may have got clumped together or anything like that. So let's see if it smudges at that point <laughs> because you don't want your brows going away, you know what I'm saying? You don't want to wipe your brow or, you know, like rub your face and like your brow go across your face. Fine over here. Okay, let me try the bad side over here. Alright, no issues for me guys. Uh, that's a win. Alright, so I am going to apply my eyeshadow and then um, we will come back for the next product. Alright guys, so I applied my eyeshadow and the next thing that came in the box was from Wander Beauty and it is the Unlashed Volume and Curl Mascara. I do like the packaging, I think it's pretty cute, very um, unique, I think I've only seen like one or two other mascaras that are in packaging like this and this retails for $24. So. Basically what I'm going to do, I'm going to apply this to one eye, um, and then we will see the difference that it makes. So, I did go ahead and curl my eyelashes just because that's something that I always do. Now, let's look at the wand on this. Okay, so it's got like a curved wand, which I tend to like. Um, it's kind of like the Lancome one that I love. I think it's like the Hypnos. Um, that is what this wand reminds me of. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead. I always start with the bottom lashes and then I do the top after just because um, I find that I get less transfer up here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I am not the best mascara applicator. And I'm sure I'm going to be making ugly faces just because it is dang hard not to. Okay. Definitely did not do a bad job on the bottom lashes. I will say that just right off the bat. Okay. Mm. Yeah, I'm pretty picky whenever it comes to mascaras in general. And this one is not bad. It's not weighing my lashes down. It's giving me length. It's giving me volume. It is very black. It could be more... Um, it could have more volume, I will say that, but not bad. Alright, so I'm going to zoom you guys in just so you can see. 
what I'm what I'm looking at. Okay, so this is one layer, and that's all I think that you need with this. Um, but you can clearly see the difference, and that is not bad, guys. All right, so I'm gonna even my eyes up. And then we will come back for the final product in the box. Okay, guys, I evened out my eyes. I applied some eyeliner and lip. And now we can go on to the final item in the box. And that is the Tarte Ready Set Radiant Skin Mist. This retails for $25. It says that it has antioxidants, um, fruit, and cucumber extract. And you guys know how much I love cucumber. Um, it says that you can use this, you know, to set your foundation, obviously, but that you can use it after your skincare as well to tone and balance your skin, which I think is awesome. So you can kind of use this, like, in layers, you know, spray your face once you've done your um, moisturizer, you know, just add, like, an additional type of primer. Um, you could use it after you've powdered your face, you know, before you put on your bronzer and your blush and your highlight, and then you could use it as, like, a final step as well, and then you'd probably be, like, super glowy, which is, I, I love in general. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna give this, like, a little shake. It doesn't say to do that, I just, I don't know, as a precaution. I'm gonna give it, like, a test spray. Ooh, it's got a nice spray. Okay, so I'm going to douse my face with this. Mmm. It's a very, very light mist, guys. Like, super light. Um, it smells like herbal. I don't really pick up on the cucumber that much. Like, you can, you can definitely smell it in the background, but it is more of, like, an herbal scent, which is pretty cool. Um, so that is it. Alright, let's go over everything that we got in the box this month. I think it was a great box overall. Um, my favorite thing, surprisingly, would be this brand that I've never heard of, Wander Beauty. This mascara. I am, like, digging this mascara. Super black. Keeps the curl. It was lengthening, it had some volume, it really separated the lashes, it did not clump them together at all. Um, the wand, I really liked the wand. Um, I could get on the lower lashes with that in all the areas that I needed to. So this is like a win. Another thing that surprised me was this Chella um, eyebrow cream. I like my brows. Um, there is nothing wrong with them. I think it applied really well. Um, when I brushed it out, it stayed really well. Really like that. I really love this blush. Um, the blush was super pigmented. It's a nice color. It blended well. Um, it's affordable, so that's pretty cool too. I like the packaging as well. It's like a, uh, it wasn't closed all the way, obviously, but it's like a sturdy packaging. It's got a nice mirror in it, which I used today. Um, and then I really love this setting mist too. Like, it's probably the finest mist, like as far as like the actual mist itself that I've ever used. Like, it. There was no, like, droplets on my face. It barely even felt like my face was wet. Um, I could tell that it was on there, obviously, but it didn't feel, like, drenched. And you saw how much I sprayed on me. Um, I like the scent. So, this is the win. And then the Dr. Brandt Needles No More. That's just, you know, whatever. Um, I did not see any immediate results as far as the orange tint to it. I don't think that it did much. It didn't really camouflage anything. Um, it's probably something that I'll have to use over time, and I will. Like skincare, I would rather buy. Makeup's more fun to buy, obviously, than skincare. But you really need good skincare. And Dr. Brandt is a very um, prestigious name in the industry in general. So, um, and this I, this is a high price item. It's 42 bucks just for an eye cream. So I do appreciate getting it in the box. I don't, it didn't blow me away or anything. I didn't see immediate results with it, but it is something that I will continue to use over time. So, um, I will use 
everything that I got in the box. The retail value of the box was $128.99 and you're paying $21 for the box. So um, you can see the value. I mean, you're getting over $100 worth of product for free, essentially. And I think it's a great deal, guys. I will have it linked down below if you're interested in subscribing. I make nothing off of that. It is just for your convenience. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please give it a like button. Let me know if you've tried any of these products or if you plan on subscribing. Um, I don't think that you will be disappointed. The boxes just, they continue to get better and better in my opinion. I love this subscription. It is probably my favorite subscription. I do love FabFitFun as well. Um, but that comes out seasonally. This comes out monthly, so that's fun. Um, and it's always really great stuff. So I hope you guys have a good day, day or night, wherever you are. And until next time, bye guys.